I'm here, supposed to be getting interviewed. Where the hell Zoe at? Zoe! Yo! Bun B looking at nigga, man. Talking about views from the street. Bitch, we in the room. Bitch, we ain't on no goddamn street. You ain't got no women in here. Whatever. The women, they put out some women in for a nigga when they come in. I stuck with them. I'm not nah, wrong. These ain't no nigga, nigga. No! Yeah! I thought you said it was a female hoe. Oh, she better be fine, too. Ain't nobody coming here. Nothing but niggas in here. Hey, so <laughs> thank you, boy. Thank you, boy. She mine. This is me. Hey, you my angel. You my darling. Am I fine enough? Hey, Jesus. Hi, what's up, everybody? This is your girl Darian from Views from the Street, episode four. Views from the streets, I'm your host Zoe. Sitting here with comedian Nod Ross. What's up, man? What's up, player? I gotta know, man, how the hell Lil Duval found you? Just talent, man. You got talent, you know what I'm saying? People are gonna find out who you is, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But how it really happened is he was at the um he came in town for the little Jaguar game at V Lounge. You know what I'm saying? He was sitting in the car and his cousin kinda introduced us and he was like, Man, you still doing comedy? I was like, Yeah. He was like, How much time you got? So how much time I got? He was like, um, Give me a number, now. if I call you, you better not be, I ain't paying no nigga to a bomb and shit. I'm like, nigga, I ain't bombing, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. funny. He said, all right, nigga. And he hit me up the next day. I didn't think he was really going to do it. I thought it was kind of like Because you started with uh, Funny Sundays with Shay, right? Right, right, right. So why the well, hell, hey? Well, actually, I started with Miss Dana. She okay. was doing uh, uh, First Sundays at Skyline. Okay. And then me and Shay, you know what I'm saying, started doing the Funny Sundays thing. But Shay said he the funniest comedian in Jacksonville. You know what I'm saying? Every, everybody entitled to their own opinion. You know what I'm saying? Shay, he just funny. I, he, I, he probably like the fifth funniest comedian in Jacksonville. So who first? Me. So that's how he found you? Who, Shay? Duval. Duval? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because me, I'm bringing the noise in the city. You know what I'm saying? Shay just... So really, fuck not. Shay. Fuck Shay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he cool. Don't get me wrong. He cool. You cool. <laughs> well, I mean, he's still the fifth funniest comedian in Jacksonville. That's my dog, though. Well, uh, what make you different from the other comedians, though? Man, I'm just um, original. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just bring me to the table on right. stage. I don't want to be up there trying to be nobody else. I'm not wrong. What you see is what you get. You know what I'm saying? So I just be up there clowning, doing me. Okay. And you got the what shirts, poor asshole. To my favorite saying right now, I love calling it the poor asshole. What make a whole poke? This is a whole just pose, like, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make us niggas look look broke, you know what I'm saying? That mole is really pose, you know what I'm Ask you for some shit, you yeah, say no. Her, you know what I'm saying? You know the whole pose you get in the car, she tried to drive over 60, Yeah. And her car start shaking, like, it's a poor asshole right here, you know what I'm saying? Bitch like, ain't got the no oil chain. The oil chain, bitch, transmission about to fall out. It's just, just ridiculous. So how they get them shirts and shit? Like, oh, you can hit me up in my DM, you know, tag me. Instagram, Facebook, whatever you want. How you want to get your poor asshole to let your poor asshole in your, in your city? 
let you know let them hoes know before you get your goddamn shirt from the IRS, okay? <laughs> so when them hoes say, what does that mean, poor ass hoes? But you gonna know when they tell you. All right, you do comedy like on Sunday sometime, like mm -hmm. in the city. Right. But what else you got going on besides that? Uh, other than that, man, just traveling with Lil Duval. Uh, whatever come up, you know what I'm saying? Different shows, people hit me up. Right. And I just come to go do the show. And right now, I'm just trying to work on my social media, getting my skits up and stuff. Right. Social media, you know what I'm saying? Right now, followers is like having me, having money right now. So, what inspired you like to get into comedy though? Man, you know how everybody used to be like, man, you fight, you need to get on that stage. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, hell no, nah, that's, that's a different now world, you know what I'm saying? Like, because we can all be sitting right here. Right. And that's easy to crack a joke. When you get on that stage, some people be ready. They be able to look at Just like that, you know what I'm saying? So, but I just be watching, like, my favorites, my, uh, Martin Lawrence, Mike F., Kevin Hart. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Eddie Murphy, you know what I'm saying? So, those are the people that I grew up watching. So, you're a big football fan? Yeah, definitely. Jaguar? Yeah. Gus Bradley got to go? He got to go. I, I, I'm, I'm big on giving second chances, but it, this is like his third, fourth, fifth chance right here, and I'm tired of this nigga. He got to go. Yeah. He got to go. He just got to go, man. We just, we, we don't even have, first it was the excuse, we ain't got the players. Right. We got them now. Okay. Ain't no excuse. Like, what, what's the problem now? That's coaching. Getting them, putting them boys in a position to win. And then the Gators. 21 nothing on Tennessee. Now you ain't have to go there, bro. We could have just stuck with the Jaguars. Well, you know, I'm a Miami fan. You're a Hurricane fan? Yes, well. Sorry for y'all niggas. Don't get uh. down to like a tropical storm lately. We'll be all right. Y'all just drizzling and y'all drizzling. But you saw your coach, Teeth. <laughs> See you know what I'm saying? Okay. He got an ugly nigga like that on the squad. You know what I'm saying? Every team, got, every good team got an ugly nigga on their squad that's real. And our coach, nigga, we got, we got to get our coach. He he gonna get it together. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of I'm just tired of taking off for these niggas though. We was up 21 up. Yeah. 21 zero. Ain't no goddamn way Tennessee should have came back. That was coaching. The game look kind of weak though, man. They ain't weak, man. Our defense, man, we fought. DBU. DBU. Y'all gave what, what, 38? Yeah, anybody that do that, anybody that do that, be on the field the rest of the second half, that you get tired. And Treon ain't never lost to Tennessee. Treon ain't never, he ain't, man, he ain't played the whole game. He played the first half of that game. He wasn't saved us that last year. Will Grill got us that. Halloween got us that. Treon would have made that damn ball to him. 15 yards straight down the field. Hell no. Treon retarded as hell, that nigga. All right, now, the last thing, though, for real, I'm going to ask you about the police brutality. If them crackers get behind you, what you going to do? You going to tell them jokes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm turning on the best gospel song I got in mind. Put my hand on the wheel. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. Seatbelt on. He ain't getting me. We, we never left. Nah, no, ain't putting his fucking seatbelt. He gotta <laughs> adjust his mirror and shit. He man, putting the on, goddamn. Man, man. Come on, man. Come on. 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 Let's go, man. We gotta get the review, man. Let's go, man. We gotta get to the funeral. We done missed everything. Yo, check your side view mirror right there. Is that okay? Hold on. Hey, answer the phone, man. We gotta put some. Answer the phone, man. That nigga on hold. Man, fuck. Hello? Huh? The funeral over. What? Huh? Y'all about where the repass gonna be at? Oh, we going to a funeral today. It's gonna. I, oh. Oh, y'all gonna do it at our house? We, we, we already here. We ain't never gonna go nowhere. It's even better. Okay. Yeah. RGM. Why you see him? B Queen team. What's happening, my nigga? Nigga, huh? Nigga, huh? I'm trying to beat you out of here before I make this pop. And I ain't pulling no one for you to serve with this cop. You can do it while I'm driving. Maniac coming through the hogs court. I'm These hoes got all the shits. They gon' fuck you like they love you all for the rich. That mouth on baby, that ain't like she heavy sick. Yeah, he a pussy nigga, baby, but that's irrelevant. Oh, and these hoes so irrelevant. Yeah, I fuck them, but I fuck them for the hell of it. Y'all hoes so irrelevant. Y'all hoes so irrelevant. These hoes got all the shits. I'm on this paper chase, my A and K. 
y'all, what's up? This is your girl Darian with Views from the Street on the fourth episode. Here I am to interview your boy Maniac. So, Maniac, I got some questions for you. Welcome to the show. Um, let's start off here. Uh, what is your definition of the rap game? The rap game really what you make it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm from an era where shit kind of sit by and be. You know what I'm saying? Pop mm -hmm. big. I'm from that, that era. I don't really know about new niggas. You don't know, so you don't know nothing about the Lil Uzi, Young I Thug. I honestly never heard of Lil Uzi movie. Uh, really? No, I thought it was another nigga. <laughs> and I, don't, I can't, I can't really listen to a nigga with a purse. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. I can't really get past that shit. Okay. So, all right. I mean, it's all about what you make. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let me ask you this: Why do you feel that Blue Ball don't get chances in the rap game? Yeah, I mean, yeah. like I said before, it's all about what, how you make it, you know what I'm saying? So, you can look, how do you make it? Like, what is your, your definition of making it? I mean, you can think local, and you go be local. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or you can get out the city and grind. You right. You know what I'm saying? Really see what the artists you're trying to be like really go through, you know what I'm saying? Like, the little local shit, it ain't nothing compared to what they do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of niggas think, Cause I moved from Duval to Atlanta, or make it. No, you got a million niggas in Atlanta that spend hundred thousand dollars. You trying to spend a hundred? You know what I mean? So do you think it's more like a marketing thing? It's how you being marketed? Uh, do you think it's more as like how hard you are in the studio? Like? I mean, you should always be in the studio. Right. You know what I mean, if that, you go rap, that's that's your football field. You know what I mean? That's that's where you at. You know what I'm saying? But you got a promo. You gotta come with some niggas think your shit's spam. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Feel you. I have another question for you. We have a lot of different local artists in Jacksonville up and coming. Let me ask you this. What sets you aside from them? I mean, I'm me. You know what I'm saying? I know, but everybody is them. A lot, a lot, a lot of, <laughs> I mean, I'm me. I, I keep it all the way. Like, my niggas say I talk too much on my music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They tell me to calm it down and shit, but... It's just, Do you think that's something that's gonna break you or make you though? Since it's you. I mean, like I, my favorite rapper, Boots. You know what I'm saying? Boots, you know what talking but, all the time. But though. before he talk, he used to talk about. He got on talking about everyday life. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I can't make a, a rap. You know what I mean? So I mean, that's just what it is. You know, I'm always be me. So I mean, I'm real. Everybody real. They gonna say it. You know what I'm saying? But shit. I, I, I promo separated me, you know what I mean? Like, okay. That's really what separated me from a lot of y'all. And do you think this promotion is all that a rapper, anybody that's local trying to come up in the game, that's all we need to focus on as being a rapper? Yeah, you gotta promote. You gotta, you gotta campaign yourself, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If that's what you're doing, that's what you're doing. But this is my thing though, it's like this, okay? We can sit up here and promo, promo, you know what I'm saying? But what if this rapper is not that deal, and lyrically wise? You think promotion is still gonna get him where he needs to get to? I mean, I, I hear a lot of music right now. That's, you know you what I'm saying? You got a point. You got a point. So <laughs> anybody can make it. You know what I mean? Right. Like I like Future, uh, but if you really listen to Future, he don't really say a lot of nothing. You know what I'm saying? But he had me live as hell in the club. You right. Know what I'm saying? Right. So I mean, it's really about shit, your promo. You know what I mean? But see, when you say he don't really be rapping about nothing, but he had me live as hell in the club, you don't think that's just the beat? What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, I really, I be like, I'm gonna be honest. When I'm in the club, I don't be listening to that, and I don't even know what he's saying. I may make up a word like, da, 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 da. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that beat be going, I be, eh, you know? You're right. I mean, Atlanta got a nice little vibe right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Atlanta got a nice so that's vibe. why I asked you. You think promotion really is what it is, or you know? I mean, I mean, promo is always, is always good. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But it also started with production. You know what I'm saying? The artist. Okay, okay. All right, well, so let me ask you this question. <clears throat> Being you are who you are, you are on social media, you got your fans or whatnot. What is that? What is your everyday agenda? Team like? Yak, what's up, man? <laughs> Team Yak, man, I fuck with my soldiers, man. They, they keep it all the way 1,000 with me. That's you know what I'm saying? We beat Florida Gator, too. That's another thing. 
So you can ask your question again, my bad. Thank you. It's all good. Get all your shout outs out there. Oh, I had to get out. <laughs> Team Yak. Yeah, uh, okay, so Maniac, I see that you're one of the few artists that keep it all the way 100 on social media. You know, you have your fans, you, you're around in the studio, doing your promo, putting in work. What is your uh, everyday agenda? Like, what do you do on your regular day? What does Maniac do for Maniac on a normal day? So my everyday agenda, uh... I'm up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Ooh, so, yeah. 4 o'clock for what? I go to work. Okay. <laughs> so, I go to work for about 15 hours. Okay. So, yeah. I get out of that bitch and go to the studio. Okay. Try and fit being a father, boyfriend, and me in 24 hours. You know what I'm saying? So that shit is kind of rough, but it's getting done. You know what I'm saying? It's hard, okay. but shit, you know, it's life. life is hard. You know what I mean? So shit. Okay. My everyday is generally tough. Don't forget you gotta be out there doing them promos too. Oh, shit. Promo <laughs> in their promo work promo, promo, yeah. promo always take care of. Shout out to Zay Zay, Kiki, and Tallahassee, man. They keep my shit in front of you, man. So. That's what's up. You know what I mean? So, last question. And this last question right here is for my lady. Alright. Maniac, have a Mrs. Maniac? 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 Have a Hey, y'all just like my music, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Mr. Maniac. Just, Shout out to just, Maniac. Just focus on the music, man. Shout out Mango. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with my music. I'm making a lot of music for the females, for the niggas. Just fuck with my music, bro. Like, it ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with my fans. You know what I mean? We good. Salute the team, Yak. You know what I mean? Shout out to Jews from the street. Nah, Ross. We beat y'all ass. You know what I'm saying? Hey. <laughs> well, there you have it. From views from the street. This is Darian, your girl. We out. Peace. Peace out. I kind of, I kind of, shit, I kind of stand, I kind of feel like Cap, you know what I'm saying? You got to take a stand, somebody got to take a stand, you know what I'm saying? And he got the, he got the stage, you know what I'm saying, to get people attention to take that stand, you know what I'm saying? So, of course, people that's not the same color go find a reason, you know what I'm saying, to speak upon what you're doing, you know what I'm saying, in a negative way, you know what I'm saying, just to mess up our minds. You know what I mean? They messed up a lot of black people's minds. They got them thinking like he, he really disrespecting, but he he's showing love. You know what I'm saying? He could be doing a lot of stuff. He could have hell. He could stand in the locker room, said for the nationality. He's just disrespectful. You know what I mean? He can do somebody there. You know what I mean? So I, I, I respect him. You know what I'm saying? Shit, if I had a nationality, I, I'd do something too. You know what I mean? So I mean, I mean yeah. They just they got they got to leave bro alone. You know, just let. Let it be what it be, you know what I mean? I don't know, I just feel, man, we're kind of Kaepernick, man. It's free country, right? Do as you, as you want. So he, he did what he feel, you know what I'm saying? You can't be mad at him, that's how that man feels. Outside of that, it's people out here killing, killing people, killing us for no reason. People are holy pig, man. Killing the police, police killing us black people. We ain't raging like that. We raging for this man dealing down, chilling. That's what I do when I hear a bad song. I know it. Stop singing, banging, whatever that shit. I don't hear that shit. I 
Alright. Y'all niggas don't never be in y'all hood. Y'all resume ain't nothing like mine. This ain't my hood, even this SP. I'm a North nigga. Yeah, I'm in Tock Hood, my fault. This is Mac Clock. You heard me? Niggas be talking all that gangster shit. Y'all niggas actors. You heard me? Man, fuck Nicki Minaj, man. She stole my song, feeling myself and feature Beyonce on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's real shit. I don't want y'all to edit that. I want y'all to keep that. Cause that's how I feel about her, bro. But Beat Mills, man. I don't know, man. Somebody really, somebody really found out it's his soft side, man. And them niggas attacking that shit. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. You be fucked with the wrong person. Maybe all that happened when he started fucking with niggas. So, I mean, Say you fuck with the devil, shit. Everything ain't gonna happen to you. I think ever since she got with me, it's been nothing, but he ain't bringing her nothing but negative shit, bro. Like, she, she need to go back to Safari, right? You know what I'm saying? At least Safari. Because nobody ain't give a damn about Safari. If niggas just beefing with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then Sean Kingston coming in there, like, where did he come from? You know what I'm saying? You can't be beefing with niggas, bro. He talking about you. You. How can I take this shit? You know what I'm saying? You need to send this over his leg of that And then the game, you know what I'm saying? The game and me, I don't know. I don't know if that's a publicity stunt. I don't know if it's a publicity beef. I think this is shit. This is the new beef. Instagram. See me, nigga, on Instagram. Meet me in my comments. That's how, that's how we beat. I'm going to post a picture and post a damn paragraph in my damn caption. Shit, I'm high as fuck right now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Shit, I mean, I mean, I guess he got that, that fuck nigga feet ply to talk about, you know what I'm saying? Shit, you know, real niggas go get real shit, you know what I mean? Like, I got a lot of niggas call me for shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't really take them to get no garbage unless I just I don't fuck with them. So if you got some, I don't fuck with you weed, you know what I'm saying? And you need to check your niggas that you got it from, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's, it's some real good, some trees blowing in Duval, you know what I'm saying? Like, my people stay with it, you know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with it cause they want me on this music shit, but they stay with it. I'm just, I'm, you know what? I'm so proud of Jacksonville County as a whole, but we attacked that nigga when that nigga said that shit. We, at, we, any difference we had, every size of town attacked this nigga. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad we did that, but we need to have a huddle with us who sold him that bullshit so he can stop. He, we can't have that as a city. We need to find a nigga who sold him that shit and say, look, my nigga, they ain't man. This nigga talk about our goddamn city and shit. Now people laughing at us on the outside, but I'm just so glad we came together. That's the only way we come together. Like, like let us say something about that. We attacking that nigga. He won't say that shit no more. That's why he went on there and apologized. Y'all straight, man. You know what's better? Get your ass up. You got your ass up. That's what it is. You got your ass up. Who you talk to? You put them gas stations downtown. You get a gun jam. Hurry, bro. I don't think she gonna slide past it because I think they go try and prove a point. You know what I'm saying? She black. You know what I'm saying? In their society, she fucked up. You know what I mean? Hell, they could put Obama in jail, they would. You know what I mean? So, she just really kind of fucked up. So, I don't think she ever get the full penalty, but I think she go get a slap on the wrist, probably a little, a little light, a little cast, a little brace. You know what I'm saying? Cause they ain't gonna really let it get over it and for free and shit. She really fucked up and did some, she messed up. You know what I'm saying?
hype plan. I'm hoping you want another head. I want to know what the outfit is. Concert. Like, if you're going to take off, man, at least use this. On some good shit, man. Get a new wig. Like, change up your style. You went down there the same way, looking like a puppet. I'm mad at it. You embarrassed this shit out of me. Bring your ass back home. You're embarrassing. You think your ass back to the dad walk game and shit. Like, that dude, Scott Bob. You bring your ass. We should have locked your ass in the I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fucks with him, man. You feel me? I fucks with Obama. Straight up, like I don't care what he did. If he messed up, I fucks with him. You know what I'm saying? Like. Bro, take it. He 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 stood in eight. You know what I'm saying? With all the critics and all the negativity, he stood in for eight years. You know what I'm saying? And, and handled the business. You know what I mean? Like, hey, he can't please everybody. You know what I mean? Shit. So the ones he did please, hey, you know what I mean? It is what it is. But I fuck with bro. Him and his wife, she's solid. You know what I'm saying? He got a solid family. Wish she could run for president, but I'll vote for her. You know what I'm saying? But. Hey, I don't want Trump in there, and I don't want Hillary in there. So I guess we, I'm really all fucked up, you know what I'm saying? So, shit. I'm just hoping another nigga can just come, you know what I'm saying? Like, Master P or some shit, you know what I'm saying? P did it. I vote for them niggas, you know what I'm saying? They got the same criteria. Okay. I, man, that man stressed me. You feel me? Like, I think he did it. You had to do your job. Two terms, he can do his job the first time. Ain't no way we go for it the second time. So two terms, he did his job to me. He did the best thing he could do. Like a lot of people trying to put so much pressure on that man. Not knowing he still gotta, you know, we trying to get stuff, bills passed, not knowing that this man still gotta answer the people in that White House. You can't just go right there, so yeah, let's do that, yeah, no we can yeah, do that. No, he still gotta you know either way the Republicans still in that guy in the White House. They still winning them. Yeah, he, guess what? He got to come out, so they got that man stressing. Let that man get him to get out of there. Let's get him home. That's for him, man. If they, they trying to let y'all know right now. You see the door, that's everybody coming out, letting you know we re how we really been living. They better turn up.